to Sandy Joe, and I was asked uh, by one of the forum members here to do a, a simple video to show you how to import an EPS file into the, the WinPC Sign program or the FunTime or any of the programs that we're all using. And how we do that is you just come up into under your file area and I want to import. So you go to import and I want to import an EPS or an AI file. So you click that and then I have most of my EPS or AI files in my documents so you just type in what you're looking for and I'm gonna look for my smiley Santa here and it's EPS it says in back of it so I go ahead and hit that open and then it shows my vector or bitmap and a vector is EPS uh, JPEG is a bitmap so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my vector and here is my EPS. Now all of the EPS files or most of them that we have that come into our, our WinPC program um, come in grouped up. So I'm going to go ahead and size this up just any size just so that we can see what we're doing here. And then this is the other thing I wanted to tell you about too Sandy. Come up to the um, the shape area underneath the toolbar and then come down under and hit break all and that's going to break it into individual um, little pieces so that we can go ahead and we can we can stone what we want to stone or we can stone the whole thing if we want to at the same time and I'm gonna go ahead and just show you um, I'll just go ahead and stone this here and I'm just gonna go with an 11 SS stone here just quickly and just do an outline and show you what we're doing here and then another question that you had is you wondered um, and I'm going to group this so you can see you wondered when you stone something if you want to come in and you want to stone something um, if you have it grouped and you come over to the the stone area and you want to get that change that color stone and you want to go to a say the green stone if you have a group you end up with this little graduate funky colors here and that just means that um, you've left everything grouped and you haven't broken all or ungrouped so just back yourself out and go up and ungroup or break all I like to use the break all and just grab whatever area then that, that you want to for the the colors of the stones and then go ahead and click those and they'll change the colors that you want there and I'm just grabbing different stones here and just hitting different colors so you can kinda see how that works if it's grouped it's not going to stone well if it's if it's ungrouped or broken all you'll have no problems at all so I hope that answers your questions for you.